Hello, community. Thanks for bearing with me as we get started a little late today. Um, I'm grateful to Phil for doing a lot of the setup and um, it's just, it's kind of, it's one of those weeks. I don't know if you're having one of those weeks where um, I'm just not quite sure what to say or how to be. Um, we have, I know that, that, that some of this has been addressed in the, in the days previous on our programming, um, but thinking about Dante Wright who was killed by a police officer on Sunday and his family and his, his baby son and then getting the news this morning that the Derek Chauvin trial may come to an end as early as next week. So we've got a lot, um, there, there's, there's a lot more than, more than a person can take in. So we have to do it as a community. And so <laughs> my, um, well, yes, I, my, my body's somewhere, my mind is somewhere else, my <laughs> and they're not going along with the schedule necessarily. So I'm not sure if anybody else is feeling that way, um, but uh, we're here and we're going to pray and we're going to sing and um, be together across the, the social distance. So let's open with uh, Teze song, uh, Oh Lord, Hear My Prayer, and I'd love to sing it as a collective, as Oh Lord, Hear Our Prayer. When we call, answer us. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen to us. Let our souls rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. May the guarding of God shelter us against the winds and the wiles of the devil. Amen. 
eternal God, hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, before we begin our day, we sing your praise. Renew our bodies as fresh as the morning flowers. Open our eyes as the sun casts new light upon the world. Like the birds of the sky, give us wings of freedom to begin a new journey. As a mighty stream running continuously, restore justice and freedom day by day. We thank you for the gift of this morning and a new day to be with you. Amen. Amen. Well, the, uh, the one thing that that's kind of spiritually getting me through <laughs> this week and these weeks lately is something that I think that Phil was sharing yesterday in the Wednesday uh, Spiritual Life This Week. And it's the Healing Our City, or Heal, Heal Our City? Heal Our City, yeah. Heal Our City. And so I'd encourage you to Google that. It's a group of people and ministers and speakers who are gathering every morning um, at 8 o'clock, but you can also um, access it later on. And um, they are praying that it began at the start of the of the trial for Derek Chauvin um, and um, you know un unfortunately uh, the the cycle of death and violence um, and systemic injustice continues um, right before our eyes and so it has become even more uh, relevant and needed I think so that's kind of what's been getting me through is turning to those words and prayers and they take um, nine minutes and 29 seconds of silence um, for prayer and meditation which is the amount of time that um, George Floyd um, was on the ground with Derek Chauvin's knee on his neck and so um, when it comes time for our silence that is the amount of time we will do today as well. So um, just a couple of things that are sticking with me um, from the Healing Our City um, offerings lately. Um, one thing is that um, holding, holding seemingly opposite truths, which is the way of being human and being in the world anyways, is having to hold um, opposite truths simultaneously that are both true. But what one person said was that these two truths we are holding right now, that the world is a beautiful place and the systems are broken and rotten to the core. So holding, holding both of those, and um, then in the healing our city from yesterday, there was the encouragement to have a pragmatic optimism, to keep on um, as if redemption is still possible, as if change is still possible, and that that's the way that we must continue on. Um, and people for generations and centuries and millennia have faced um, have faced terror and oppression and in that way it continues to play out um, but we must keep on as though um, and with the, with the hope and the belief that redemption is possible so the reading I will share today are words from Isaiah 58 as we hold these seemingly paradoxical things um, and truths together as a community. Is this not the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. 
Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry, and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water, whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of livable streets. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt you shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of livable streets.
silence. In the silence of our hearts or in spoken words, let us give thanks for the gifts of this day and pray for ourselves, one another, and the world. Lover of all peoples, we pray for peace in our hearts and homes, in our nation, in our city and our world. The peace of your will, the peace of our need. from Martin Niemöller, a Lutheran pastor in Nazi Germany. First, they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then, they came for the communists, and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then, they came for the trade uni unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then, they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me. Go before us, God, that we may follow in your steps. Go behind us, God, to steer us when we stray. Go beside us, God, as our strength for the journey. We'll close with the song, There Is More Love Somewhere. And um, if you don't know it, it's quite simple to pick up. There is more love somewhere. There is more love somewhere. I'm going to keep on till I find it. There is more love somewhere. Then we'll sing those same words, but in, but in place of more love, we'll sing There Is More Hope Somewhere. And finally, we'll sing, There is Justice Somewhere. Some 
in peace to love and serve the Lord and our common humanity.